Hello, my name is Chili Montian. My pronouns are she, her, hers. I'm the vice president of Associated Student of Kenyatta College, and my major is animal science. It's so wonderful to virtually be here with y'all today. My name is Adrian Afif. I use the he and his pronouns. I'm the student body president of the Associated Students of Kenyatta College. I'm also a film major. Shelly and I are both so thrilled to be here and share with you all of the amazing work that our team has done this semester. We would like to start our presentation by sharing our six student senate 2021 initiative. Based off of our priorities of anti-racism and community connection during the pandemic, we feel very fortunate that we have been able to present these initiatives at the college off-campus leadership retreat and have enjoyed working with college administrators, staff, faculties, and fellow students on the research and implementation of these goals. Starting with our communication initiative. We understand that it can feel extremely confusing and isolating to be a student in this digital world and have created monthly newsletters from Student Senate. We've worked with our marketing department and administration on the content and posted articles that included video links to past events, interviews with faculty, staff, administrators, and alumni, and how to get involved despite this pandemic. Our goal is to continue to develop and create newsletters to keep our college community informed, updated, and connected. We understand how technology can be a barrier to education and wanted to learn more on how to support our fellow students. Student initiative team worked with the Dean of Pre and Dean of Technology Initiative to create and advertise a campus-wide technology survey. Data just came in. Reviewing the data with deans and presenting this data at Flex Day in January, through collaboration with vending commissions and partnering with the library and dreamers, we have been able to sponsor the purchasing and distribution of the new Wi-Fi hotspot. We were so excited to hear from a presentation to Student Senate about the college's plans to start a multicultural center. We are passionate about this space for students to come together and be seen, celebrated and supported in a new and different way. To better understand how various multicultural centers support students, we have formed a student committee researching multicultural centers across the state and are in the first stages of a draft on what support systems students would like to see within our new center. We look forward to doing more research and working with the college community in this coming semester and what this new center can look like. We also understand that mental health is a major priority for all of us during the pandemic. We have created posts working with our marketing and administrations and share student experiences throughout the transition to online, including what students are eating, how they are staying active, and what they are watching. We will continue to develop leaflets each month to share healthy habits with our campus community. 2020 has seen a new anti-racist revolution across the country, and our team would like to work with the campus on their anti-racist efforts. Along with having two reps on the anti-racist task force, We've done training on Title V and Title IX with Director Sims, as well as our team's research on what other campuses are doing and what students across the nation are facing. We are researching the possibilities of starting a new campus inclusion team that could explore overall trends on microaggressions and potentially provide resources and specialized training to our campus communities. Once we've completed the research and exploratory stages, we look forward to working with the campus on additional ways that we can support college-wide anti-racist efforts. Inspired by our work at Wednesday in spring 2019, we developed Tune Up Tuesday, a weekly virtual space designed to build connection among students during this global time of this connection. We partner with Promise Scholar Program team to promote this to all students including Promise students who will have a Promise peer mentor available to them anytime they come to an event. We intend to continue working with the Promise Scholar program to host Tune Up Tuesday every week. We feel very lucky that we've continued to host the same number of events as we have when in person. We would like to highlight our House Cup Championship events on August 26. Through this event, we were able to grow our relationship with faculties, staff, and administrators, not just through initiatives, yet with even as well. We had four teams with 20 faculties, staff, and administrators compete in campus knowledge theme game that entertains students. We would also like to highlight our Club Rush event. This was one of our biggest virtual events with the amount of participants above 70. We have both newly active and continuing clubs there to give a presentation about their clubs. Through this event, we were learning about the clubs and inner club council rules, building connections with club leaders, fostering the ability of collaboration, and encouraging more involvement of college experience. These are all of our second quarter events. 
We would also like to highlight being able to volunteer together and adopt a lane at the district's community market. Being able to serve our community with district administration and college staff was really special. A few of our professional development highlights thus far is that the 10 National Conference on Student Leadership and our team was chosen as one of the 10 national speakers sharing about social movements. Commissioner Moreno also got to MC the college's Latino Thought Makers event. Senator Canadian presented at October 6th day discussing our campus work with campus inclusion team. We also got to be part of College First Safe Zone virtual training video series. Three members of our student life team were able to be the closing speakers for the district first TEDx event at CSM on how art can help engage during uncertain time. And we held our annual campus movie fest and are still the only community college to host this. Three of our student films won jury awards and one of those student films won best story and best performance against colleges across the nation. Our college was one of the most awarded colleges during the September event. Even with virtual modality, our Senate has kept the yearly tradition of benchmarks in community, change, mentorship, and leadership. We've really enjoyed our tradition of sharing our stories deeply with one another and feeling connected as a team, despite not getting to be with each other face to face. Thank you again for this opportunity. Like our 2020 shirt say, although we are miles apart, we are still close at heart. We feel very fortunate to work so closely with our administration, faculty, staff, and students this year as we get through this together. Thank you.